All right, we are continuing here. Men's junior lightweight, so 70.3 kilograms or 155 pounds. And we are about to see who will face Bekruz Kurshed Zoda in the finals. Already having entered the cage, we have the Kingdom of Bahrain's Gimbat Magomedov, one of the fighters to watch. And he will face off against Maxim Fuchs from the RMMAU. Both these fighters have done very well so far. And this should be another good one. Quick touch of gloves, and here we go. Gimbat Magomedov got a uh, gold medal at the 2021 Junior World Cup. Straight to the takedown attempt here for the Russian neutral athlete. And he gets a takedown. Great technique there. Gets the, <coughs> the arms wrapped around, pulls the legs out, gets the double leg takedown. But again, you can see the experience of his opponent there, wrapping the arm under the leg and trying to force himself onto the top position. Just brute strength at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> like two bulls going at it. Oh, nice work there from Magomedov, getting back up to his feet. You can see here both fighters pushing for that position to try and get their opponent against the cage to get the takedown. And it's all about who's going to make that little, you know, little mistake first yeah. that gives the advantage to their opponent. I mean, when you are so evenly matched, and it could just be one tiny mistake that seals the deal. Now we got Magomedov in the more advantageous position up against the cage here. And of course, we got Eldar Eldarov in the corner of Kingdom Bahrain's Gimbat Magomedov. You can see the weight there just uh, on, the, on the, the, the Bahraini athlete as he was going down, the opponent pushing his weight down onto him to stop any attempts and takedowns. Yeah. And that's the important part of that sprawl. Everyone thinks the sprawl is just kicking the legs out. It's also about pushing the opponent down onto the head, you know, the, the weight onto the head of your opponent so that he's, he just gets flushed down. Oh, look at that! Maxim Fuchs tried to go for a take number, was momentarily grounded himself. Again, such evenly matched competitors here. Great wrestling by both, just, you know, attack and counter, attack and counter, yeah. back and forward all the time. And again, positioning, you can see holding a leg or, or holding onto the arm or grabbing you know, over, under, behind the leg. All of these things just stop your opponent from shifting that weight. Everything when it comes to wrestling is about movement of weight. Yours and your opponent's. I mean, this is just Scramble City population. Gimbeth Magomedov and Maxim Fuchs. And the problem with this is how do you score it? Because I was who's just in the dominant that. position here? Yeah. It's back and forward all the way through. So how do you score around when no one really had dominance? Best haircut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a round of almost <laughs> only 50-50 positions. Very, very tough round to score. And I'm going to ask, how are both of these guys not absolutely shattered off? <laughs> that? Both corners working hard just to keep the lactic acid from building up in the fighters. A lot of energy pushed out in that round by both athletes. Again, very back and forth. And, and a lot of it is, is just carrying weight. They're both carrying the weight of their opponents. They're both moving weight around. It, that can really sap the energy. But both of them look in supreme condition. Oh, yeah, definitely. Both corners very calm. You can see the way they speak to their, their fighter. Very calm, you know, keeping keeping the momentum there but also just keeping them relaxed i think that's the, the biggest issue for most athletes is in between rounds how quickly can you get the heart rate down how yeah. quickly can you get to the point where you can take instruction anyone that's ever been heavily out of breath you're not listening <laughs> you're focusing on breathing that's about it nice kicks there oh but oh kick. great take now luke's catches a kick and i was actually thinking when he both fighters were doing so well in terms of wrestling. I was a little surprised when Magomedov threw kick, uh, two kicks in su succession. 
just again reversal, reversal, reversal. It's, the, the pace that they do this at is incredible. And they're right here in front of us now, and, and you can see, just look at the calm. Yeah. You know, no one is flustered, no one is, is frantic. They're, they're thinking through every movement that they make. I mean, this is experience and talent on display right here. They're just high level wrestling, drilling over and over and over. I mean, this is probably the most, we've had pretty much only evenly matched fights, but this is the most evenly matched fight we've had so far. And definitely in terms of skill set as well. Oh, another hip toss there, but look at that, Maxim Fuchs ends up on the bottom. I suspect not for long though. Again, just turning, twisting, getting the position back. No one is staying in a position for more than five seconds. Yeah. Everything is back forward. Everyone is moving. Everyone's looking for an it's, it's been incredible to watch. If you're a fan of wrestling and grappling, this is an absolute clinic. Oh, yeah. I'm doing. It's a gold mine of, of grappling and wrestling for sure. But it is a judge's worst nightmare. And again, it's going to be one of those where the athlete thinks he's winning. Yeah. And again, okay, where you can make a very strong case for, for either fighter and be completely correct in your assessment. Switch of position for his opponent up against the cage. Now he's going to try the strikes at the knee. The question now is when it gets to round three and it's all on the line, do they stop going for takedowns and just stand and throw? <laughs> that would be a nice little twist to this fight. Just turn it into a straight up kickboxing bout. Because when it's this even in, in the wrestling, it's just back and forward and no one can really get the upper hand. Do you just switch it up in the third? It might be a pride thing though, showing me like, no, I am the better wrestler and I'm going to prove it. And I mean, conditioning could very well be the deciding factor heading into the third round. Who did, ver you know, that extra sprint? Who took that extra kilometer? Yeah, I don't know. The, the conditioning of both of these guys just looks insane. I would be absolutely shattered by now. I mean, if I'd done a round of this, you'd be, you know, they'd be carrying me out of a cage in a stretcher. <laughs> and see, both of the... They are breathing heavy, but the conditioning on them, as I say, is, is it's there. You know, not, oh, neither yeah. of them are, you know, completely shattered. They don't look like they're, you know, insanely out of breath. Obviously, an immense amount of energy expended here. But again, how do you judge who got the upper hand in the wrestling? You know, it was constant switching of position. One on top, well, then the next. One against the cage, switch to the next one. The, the, the level of wrestling, again, at an amateur time. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just insane. Let's see if either one of these guys get the upper hand. Third and, and give us a clear winner as we come out of this one. I mean, that's the thing. Neither fighter has really had that one proper like slam takedown or striking combination and getting that could very well be what pushes you over the edge towards victory and where you can secure the position you go look i got it and i'm dominant and i have the position there we go yeah no more takedowns <laughs> no uh, maybe they were listening to your advice before just go for strikes or is it no, not for long though he used it as the setup though he threw the hand up there you know through the line Used it as the setup for the takedown. Yeah. But again, can it be secured? That's always the question. Shooting for a takedown, attempting a takedown. Can you actually get it secured and show dominance in the position? I mean, if nothing else, Magomedov has definitely had a great start to the third round. Yes. And probably the more 
clearly dominant stretch that we've seen so far. Yeah. I, th I think it could be another split decision. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that now. Obviously, depending on what happens in the third round, but the fights in this game have all been extremely tough. Well, it's like how, how do you even score those first two rounds? I mean, do you flip a coin? Do you? I mean, here yeah, the, the ring control and, you know, having his opponent up against the table. The Bahraini fight are definitely yeah. has up a hand here. But again, it's for how long? You know, where does the switch happen? Oh, nice great strike. That was a great right hand from the RMMAU's Maxim Fuchs. And that's the thing, combinations. No one's really been throwing combinations. Everything's been a setup for the takedown. Yeah. Tries to throw. I feel like must be running empty. And the question is, did that strong right hand even things out in terms of points or? I think for me, definitely, you know, control of the cage uh, is, is definitely going over to, to, to the fighter from the kingdom of Bahrain. You know, I think he's got the control. I think he's he's making his opponent get, get different looks. But again, it, it all, it, it's all going to come down to how the judges see it. Yeah. But now here, Fuchs with some pretty good control. Yeah, Fuchs get, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's how long do you have the control for yeah. before the reversal happens? It's, it's literally a, a game of seconds now. You go, he had it for 20, he had it for 10. You would almost need two timers and then having one for each advantageous position and then just adding up the time at the end of the fight. Because there is no clear cut. You know, that's the guy who dominated the fights in this one. And we are going to a judge's decision. And, you know, Jason, I'm going to put you on the spot. Gun to your head. Who did more? Who advances to the finals, in your opinion? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, by split decision, Michael Maynard. Yeah, that's... That, that, that's, that's where I... And, and again, by, by inches. Yeah. Yeah, the most split of decisions, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> All right, Most fighters think they won. Let's hand over to DNM for the official decision. There you have it, Maxime Fuchs of the RMMAU scores a bit of an upset here against the, uh, you know, uh, 2021 silver.